What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for August. The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price point. And if you see anything you like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also, shout out to last month's winners. I've been in contact with you and you've already received your tech from last month's episode. And if you wanna to win today, all you have to do is drop a thumbs up down below, leave a comment on what your favorite item is and why you like it. And third, make sure you're subscribed. I'm obviously only gonna pick subscribers to the channel. Now, first up today, we have a replacement for those horrible wheels that odds are are on your chair right now. Yeah, I know they suck. These now are not only more mobile, but they have a little trick up their sleeve. They actually have LEDs inside the wheel that glow red, green, and blue when you move around. And there's no batteries inside, there's no charging these, no cables. I'm sure someone out there can explain how this works. But with the universal mounting stem, you can pretty much put these on any gaming or office chair you may have. And then once you start to roll around, again, the movement will activate the LEDs inside. And for any RGB lover out there who thought their setup was more than complete, well, I bet you didn't see this coming, did you? My dogs certainly didn't either. They were not having it. These are just so much smoother on carpet and hardwood floor, especially, uh, but also depending on what kind of carpet you have, it could vary. But these just let you fly around. They are such a major upgrade over stock chair wheels. If you don't care for the LEDs, you can find these without them, obviously. And they sell them in a bunch of different colors and finishes to the wheels. And the pack of five that I picked up is just $25. And by the way, all the cool tech under 50 products that I've showed off the last three plus years are all organized over on my Luster profile, which by the way, they rebranded and they renamed to Vetted. So if you wanna check out three plus years of cool tech under 50 products, it's all there for you. I'll drop my Vetted profile in the description as well. Next up, some pretty cool desktop gadget. You know I love these two in ones. This is a portable sort of candlelight slash cool looking lamp as well as an actual Bluetooth speaker. So built into the lamp is a speaker. It's all adjustable as well. You can adjust the brightness of the lamp as well as enabling that candlelight flicker mode. You can skip tracks and stuff with the buttons on the back. I'm just really digging the way it looks. It's very like industrial looking, but also modern at the same time. And the fact that you can just put this, you know, wherever you want, bring it with you on the go if you're going to like the beach or something. Or like I said, have it as a nice little warm tone lamp on your desk setup, you can do both. Since it's wireless, it's rated for about 15 hours, but if you are just gonna use it as a desk solution, you can just leave it plugged in with the USB-C port in the back. Pairing it to your phone just takes seconds. It's not gonna blow you away in terms of quality, but for listening to like podcasts or playing Spotify around your room, it'll get the job done. And also for its size, it gets decently loud. I'll just demo it for you real quick. See what I'm saying? So this comes in just around $30. And even though we're a few months away, hear me out, this could be a really cool gift idea for the holidays or like a birthday gift for a friend. Definitely a cool little pickup. Next, we have a brand new version of the Delta Hub Carpio wrist rest that I showed off a few years ago at this point. So this is a wrist rest for your gaming mouse. But with this new release, it's the G 2.0 and G stands for gaming. Available in black or white, this new model lets you physically strap it to your hand during use. Construction wise, it's relatively the same shape as the first model, but now for where your wrist sits, it has these vented cutouts there, which makes it lighter overall and still comfortable at the same time. And obviously you have the new built-in magnetic strap. On the bottom of the G2, the material they use is very similar to something like mouse skates, where it's this glossy Teflon-like filling material that slides very smoothly on your mouse pad. So you won't have to worry about it like interfering with your movement or aiming. Now, I know at first, Using this is gonna be possibly daunting because anytime you add something new to your main peripheral setup or to your just your usual gameplay routine, it could potentially interfere with what you're used to when it comes to like muscle memory and stuff. But I will say, it's gonna take some time to adjust to this, obviously. However, after maybe like two days or so of actually using it, it just feels natural and you won't even notice it. But I do understand this won't be for everybody, but I'm telling you, if you just take the time to try it out and use it, you'll adjust really quick and your wrist will thank you. It's all about the ergonomics. The added support feels great and I immediately noticed less stress and fatigue in my wrists after full days of editing or gaming. And that goes without saying, because you can obviously use this with whatever you want, not just gaming, obviously, your usual routine and desk setup activities. All in all, I'm really digging it. Like I said, we checked out the original version a few years ago. So when I saw this new version with the wrist strap, I definitely wanted to give it a go. They come in two different colors, black or white, you can get them in small or large sizes, and they have models for lefties as well. And it retails for $40. 
Now, moving right along, I know this one's definitely going to be a hit. This is a three and a half inch secondary PC sensor panel to monitor things like your temps and usage. It can do other things like show a bunch of other PC info. There is a required download that goes along with this. That's how you can go in and configure all the different themes so you can load them up onto the screen itself. Each team can also be customized, and there's options to create and add your own custom ones if you really want to sink in some time to this and make it your very own. The themes can also be visually flipped inside, so depending on how you want to mount this, it'll always be in the proper orientation. And there is a USB-C port on both the top and the sides, so you can power it from either for using this with landscape or portrait themes. And that's one of the cool things about this, is the fact that it's not HDMI reliant. It runs off of just the one USB-C cable, so it's super easy to use, and it comes with a modular stand if you want to prop this up on your desktop. I've seen these used in a bunch of people's actual PC builds. If you wanted to do something like that as well, it's all up to you. I just think the versatility of something like this is really useful. Having all your temps, system usage, network data, hard drive info, all just in front of you on this nifty little customizable device is really what powers this series. Finding cool stuff like this is why I do the show. It comes in at just 40 bucks as well, and if you ask me, that's an absolute seal for this. Then lastly for today is this RGB gaming soundbar from Tilted Nation. But what I like about this is the overall versatility and how compact it is with an everyday desk setup. Taking a look at it, right on the front you have the adjustable volume knob to access at an arm's reach. Underneath the soundbar running along is the RGB light strip with a bunch of different built-in effects. Then on the top side you have two touch sensitive buttons. One is for controlling the RGB and the other is for switching between modes, whether you can use this wirelessly over Bluetooth or going wired with the included 3.5mm auxiliary jack. It does need to be powered via USB, but then from there you choose your connection, whether Bluetooth or wired. The soundbar itself is just around 15 inches long, and with it being a stereo soundbar, you have your two built-in drivers on each side behind the front grille. Now the RGB can obviously be disabled if you want, but there are six different built-in modes, including one that pulses to your audio like a visualizer, and the popular RGB rainbow wave if you're all about that. It's not the brightest light strips, won't be distracting or anything to annoy you, it's just acting as an accent piece really. Again, for the price point of under 50 bucks, don't expect your world to be rocked, but I thought the sound quality overall was definitely pretty decent. My only complaint was that I wish I could push it like 20% louder, but again, for the desk setup scenario where it's literally just right in front of you, odds are it'll be fine for most people. So at the end of the day, a nice, compact, and convenient soundbar for your desk setup that also won't break the bank, coming in at just 40 bucks from Tilted Nation. So guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech, under $50 for August. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said before, all the tech you saw today we listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out if you're interested. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. <laughs>